Make sure that we are up in here. Um, I don't know. Okay, okay. Um, what's good, folks? It's your boy Dookie back again with Bang Budget and New Gear Reviews. We're going to do this live thing for y'all folks right now. Man, it's just a little live stream. And um, if you see in the, the, the title where it says, I'll be live with the homie Mikel James, we had a little timing issue, you know what I'm saying? He off in Hawaii doing his thing thing, and it's kind of a timing difference. So um, we're going to get together on some future streams here. Uh, first shout out to the Polytex, um, Alpha Rakama, Still Toro, Cameron, Mikael, uh, I mean, Hoyt, Trey, uh, Wilma, uh, 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 everybody up in there, man. I'm gonna start, you know, I'm gonna start forgetting names. I don't want to do that, man. That's the squad, you know. We've been building up. We got the new episode of Tens coming this weekend, hosted by the homie Still Toro. I'll make sure to leave a link down here in the description later on if you're watching this video on the recap. Well, we're gonna be doing a live stream this weekend. Um, Tech, entertainment, news, and sports. That's what 10 stand for. If you've ever seen like Around the Horn or any of those sports, like game show kind of events, that's exactly what it is. Uh, your boy Dookie was the first winner, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't able to be on the second episode. I'm going to try to defend my crown this weekend. So you make sure, man, follow us over at Twitter. Follow me over at Twitter, DVZN Media. I'll throw out any relevant links so that you can be a part of it, you know, see what's going down. All right, now, one of the first things that I want to talk about here are these. Uh, these are the Rosewill EX 500 and 700 headphones sent over by the good folks over at Rosewill. And like I said in my review, got to be some of the best sounding earbuds I have, I've ever listened to. And I'll be honest, I've never tried the super expensive um, J-Birds. Well, I won't say super expensive, but this is bang. You know I live in that budget lifestyle. So I've never tried any of the $150, $200 up uh, ear inner, you know, earbuds. So I just don't do it. So I'm used to using, you know, I'm used to either using like the earbuds that come with your phone or, you know, Things like that. Hold on, let me see if there's anybody actually watching. Um, yeah, we got some viewers up in here. We got some viewers up in here. Let me make sure. Let me get in my control room. Uh, let me make sure everything is popping. You know, we'll get back to it here in a second. Okay, okay. All right. Make sure everything is good. I got it going on over here. So if you see me look to the side, that's me checking for comments and stuff like that. But, um, you know, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We're going to stay fresh with you guys right here because y'all the ones, you know, that's building with me. So if you leave a comment down below, I'll try to, talk, I'll try to holler at y'all and see what's really good. Hold on, let me uh get this out the way. What's going on over here? Nah, I so if you see that. me, look to the side. That's me checking for. I didn't want to do that. That was that was a rookie mistake. I apologize for that. So yeah, um, but yeah, man, these headphones, man. Like I say, now if you're an audiophile and you spend a lot of money on headphones and you have you know hundreds of pairs of the best headphones in the world, then these probably won't mean anything to you. But if you mainly listen to the, the headphones that come with your phone or, you know, little cheap headphones from the dollar store or anything like that, nothing substantial, stuff that you usually lose, these are, are, are a massive improvement, man. I put them in, I put them in and I just was amazed at the sound difference, the quality, 
you get to hear all the elements of music. You get to, you know, when I did the review, I said it wasn't a lot of bass. And I went back, and I'm, you got to make sure that they're seated perfectly. Get them seated in there nicely with some the tips that work for you. And I mean, ah. Oh, like I said, I'm not the, I don't like the crazy head rattling, just bah, 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 um, bass, but I love that nice clean that actually sounds like a thump, that kick, them hard bass lines, and those were ever present with these headphones. So we did a little giveaway. You know, the good folks over at Rosewood said, man, if you check them out and you like them, give some away. So what I did is I got one pair each, I got the... 700s and I got the 500s. These are fresh, unopened. There, you can see them. in the box, never opened. You know, these are these are guys. These of these of y'all. You know, hold on. Let's see. You can still see the. Yeah, these are for y'all. You know, I got my pair, and I did a giveaway. So I'm gonna announce the giveaway winners right here soon. I just picked them like two minutes before I went live. I'm gonna be hitting them up. Um, I'm going to be hitting them up. So if you see this video, make sure you check your messages on Facebook. I don't have no other connections for you. I mean, sorry, your YouTube messages. Make sure you check those. I'll be sending you a message here shortly as soon as I'm done with the live stream. That was a lot of hand actions. So let's go. All right. For the 500s. Now, let me say this real quick before we go in. The 500s are, what, $39.99, and the 700s are $49.99. And I'm, let me tell you this. You're going to do great with either one. There is a little bit of clarity difference, a little more clarity difference with the 700s, but really the sound is amazing on both of these. So don't think if you get one or the other that you're getting, like, this massive difference. You're getting really cool. I've been listening to both. I've been to the gym with them. Um, in bed, I fell asleep listening to one of them. Like, I mean, you're going to get some quality audio. So please, you know, recognize that you're going to get some goodness. So for the 500s, give, give a shout out to Mike, 336-7611. I appreciate you leaving the comment, man. I appreciate you hitting that like button and subscribing. That's a beautiful thing. Check your messages. I will be getting in contact with you, seeing how we can get those sent out to you shortly. For the, hold on, let me see. All right. Looks like we got the homie Mikel up in the chat. What it is, I, I know you at work, or I know, you, I know you're doing your thing, you know what I'm saying? So I appreciate you stopping in. We're going to definitely connect on another one. You know what I'm saying? So hang out in that chat. I most definitely appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay, now for the 700s, let's see who do we have. The winner is Greg Gorski. Shout out to you, man. Thank you for leaving a comment. Thank you for commenting on my video, you know, hitting the like button, subscribing. I appreciate that. It means a lot. Y'all don't really have to do that. Well, you did have to do that to win this contest, but you guys do it anyway, man. I was, I've said it before, man. One of the homies, uh, Tosin, uh, he said, man, you know, if you, your videos don't have a million views, but your community, your comments is crazy. And that's what it is, man. Y'all show up, y'all show out, man. Y'all talk to each other. I don't see people helping each other out, you know, doing all kinds of stuff. So, I mean, salute to you guys, man, for checking us out, man. Make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe so you can stay up on it whenever we drop some new stuff. I got plenty of great stuff coming. I'm going to be doing for you content creators, filmographers, videographers, whoever. If you like shooting videos, I'll be doing a video on this right here. This is an $85 lens for a micro four-thirds. So I'm going to be putting this on my Panasonic GH3. You can put it on the GH4, the upcoming GH5, any of these cameras that, you know, you might want to not spend a lot for a lens and get some good quality. We're going to test this one out and see what's really good. 35 millimeter f1.7, good low light. You know, we're going to see what's up, man. Y'all stay tuned. All right? So what I wanted to talk to you guys about is 
what I wanted to talk to you guys about was retro gaming. Now, the reason, one of the main reasons I wanted to have the homie Mikel Casanova on is he is loving his Switch. And I have to say, man, these guys are getting me. They kind of, they, I won't say they've turned my, you know, completely changed my opinion, but I know that these guys are really loving their Nintendo Switches, and it's making me think, like, I might have to pick one up. Now, I did say I was going to try to pick one up to give y'all my honest opinion of when I get it, you know what I'm saying? And um, people complaining about how many games and stuff, that's kind of corny. Like, when the system first drops, like, you know, give it some time to get some games on there. Like, that's just how that's how these things work. Give it some time to get some games on there, and you're going to see some stuff. I remember when uh, I remember when the Super Nintendo dropped. I just played Mario. I didn't care about no other game. I, when, I, when, the, when, the, when the Super Nintendo dropped, and um, I played Mario World, like, I didn't care about any other game for a while because I was just lost in Mario World. I didn't have time to worry about no other game. Then more games dropped, and I was like, okay, you know. By the time games started popping, I was like, let me get these. But, um, you know, one of the things that they do have on the Switch is you can download some classic games. And I saw they had uh, King of Fighters. Um, maybe in King of Fighters 98, I don't want to lie, but it's King of Fighters on the Switch you could download. It's like a it's like a Street Fighter type game if you have no idea what it was. Now, this is where Mikel, he would give you all the knowledge of the teams behind it and who did who and created what. Your boy Dookie ain't finna do all of that. But <laughs> what I do want to say is, like, I, I brought this up with the Polytex group. Um, now, this is going to sound some, this is going to be some real old man, get off my lawn, team wash, hashtag team wash type stuff right here, is the arcade used to be one of the great places to go to play games. Like, you would go to play, you know, the classic games. I mean, yeah, you know, back in the days with, like, Pac-Man and Galaga and Frogger and things like that. Then in the 90s, you know, that's when my time, I mean, you got you know, these Street Fighters, your Mortal Kombat's, um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was in the arcade, uh, NBA Jam, like, like we, I lost a lot of money on NBA Jam, and I won a lot of money on NBA Jam, too, so, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying, uh, hold on a second, let me see, Mikel, he said he's trying to get on here, um, uh, Let me send it to you again. Okay, check your check your messages. So if he pops up here in a little bit, you know, make sure you, you know, that's gonna be dope. He's gonna be able to give y'all a little bit of the knowledge. But um, yeah, man, the the oh, there he goes. Oh, he up here. <laughs> I was good with it. Yo, what it is, my dude? How you living, man? Man, I'm out here in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii, doing the thing, man. What's good? Man, I, I told him you was out there stunting real heavy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Out of Hawaii, you got suits on, you out there doing it real big. You know what I'm saying? Just on the island, living life. I mean, you know, I can't <laughs> hate on you, but you're doing it big. <laughs> yeah, man, so it was good. It was good. I'm loving this show so far. How yeah, man. I wanted to talk to you, man, because I saw that, um, you know, you can clear this up. I know they got um, King of Fighters on the Switch now. That's one of the games you can yeah. download. People, you know, people complain about all the games they got, but that's one of the games that you can download. And I remember that from the arcade, from the arcade. Like, that was one of the things we, we used to throw a lot of quarters at. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to ask you, man. What was your favorite arcade game back in the day, man? Did, did, did you even go to the arcades? You know what I'm saying? I, I, I did, man. I used to go with my older brothers all the time. We okay. lived okay. in the arcade. My game back in the day, I'd say, was uh, Street Fighter II Champion Edition. Ooh. That was mine. Ooh. You know, a lot of people may not even know about it, but Street Fighter II had a whole lot of iterations. and was about to get another one this year with Ultra Street Fighter II. I remember, <laughs> I remember, uh, was it hyper? I remember the hyper fighting one, and I remember they did that because, like, didn't some people like hack the game first? It was just regular Street Fighter, and they sped it yep. up. And so, then Capcom actually released the sped up Street Fighter. 
Yep, they did. They did. People wanted a faster one because I think the old Street Fighter 2 was like, it was slow. It was super slow. And man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was super slow. But um, yeah, man. Um, the, yeah, that was that was one of my games, man. That Immortal Combat. That was one of the games that um, I had a little homie back in the day, man. His name was Eric as well, and we would go to mm. the um, we, we we'd be out there hustling, folks. We be <laughs> one of us would get on the system and you know start you know, losing or playing, you know, whatever. So people try to jump on. As soon as they jumped on, we'd be like, yeah, man, put like 50 cents on it. Oh, man, I see, <laughs> I see you lose two games. I throw that. I throw a dollar down. Okay, man. Man, lunch money for the week. How you think your boy became big sexy? You know what I'm saying? I was out there, you know, scamming <laughs> folks, you know. That's the thing, though. These new cats nowadays, they don't know nothing about that. I mean, with my brother's, we used to be scamming people on Street Fighter all day long. <laughs> if we wasn't Street Fighter, we'd be doing art fighting. That was back when fighting games was just like, that was life. Like, you go to arcade, if you was playing Street Fighter, you best know what you was doing. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'd be on, like, a little uh, milk crate up there with the sticks, and, and people were like, oh, man, we're going to run game on him real easily. Nah, he, he, nah, he ain't going down like that. <laughs> I remember, I remember that, um, the, one of the main things that arcades was good for was fighting games, those shooter games, like one they had the, the you actually had the gun out there. Oh, NBA Jam. I remember NBA oh, Jam was oh. massive in the arcade. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, you know, and that's kind of what I was talking about. Like, back in the day, um, the arcade games used to kind of, they were the original local multiplayer. You know, yep. like that was where you would go to try to connect with people. You know, you make friends, you know, people probably still friends like that. And um, I was in uh, the movie theaters with Sehova uh, and I was like, what are these games they got in here? Like it was it was like Plants vs. Zombies and Candy Crush. And, <laughs> you know, the games that you play on your phone, they got them on big 10 foot screens in the arcade. And nobody's playing them because it's like I can play that on my phone and save my progress. Why would I pay to play this in the arcade? Like, what's I know is I know it's a different time. I know you know this is gonna sound old, but like, what are your thoughts on that? You know, <laughs> man, I think it's uh, sorry about all the noise in the background. Nah, it's all good. But uh, but for me, man, I think it's kind of ridiculous what people consider arcades nowadays, just because it's like. You got um, games that you would find, yeah, on, like, a mobile platform. And then, like, you go to places like Dave and Buster's out here. We got a spot called, uh, what is it called, uh, Fun Factory. Yeah. If you want to play anything, you're going to be dropping, I want to say, $2 or something per game because they put it on the little cards now and you swipe it. I'm like, man, I remember when one or two quarters took you a long way. You know, you could just pop it in the machine and then play from there. But to say that, it, it, I feel like the whole multiplayer aspect of like connecting with other people in person is just gone now. I mean, that's this whole online gaming. While it's cool, I do like it at times. I feel like that's what really kind of birthed the whole generation of trolling. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you I can't think talk, you. you <laughs> <laughs> I definitely think that um it, it it lends you to trash talk differently. Now we used to trash talk personally, but I mean yeah. you knew you knew where the limits was because you was like you're taking it too far. Like okay, you know this yeah. is just the game, or you had to be able to handle up if you took it too far. You know what I'm saying? So now it's like man, you know, and I tell people all the time I play online a lot, but you know I don't never use like headphones. Or get into the actual talking because I'm like, man, nine times out of ten, some little kid calling me the most racist, nastiest stuff I ever did here. And I'm like, yep. what's the what's the appeal of that? You know what I'm saying? Um, and I, I, I like what the Nintendo is trying to do, like trying to bring back that local uh, multiplayer, like with games like Mario Kart and things like that, because. You know, you know, we grown. We're not gonna be sitting like on the floor in somebody's living room. But you did used to be able to crowd around the TV 
and you know pass the sticks like if some especially yeah. like in you know that that was kind of what it was and it's like man nowadays it's, it's not even there anymore you know <laughs> yep yeah, man. I, I, th- I think we were talking about that in uh, our Marco Polo chat the other day. Yep. Or was it yesterday? We were talking about how, like, the way it is now, you go buy any of these AAA games like Destiny and whatnot, you can't even play it local multiplayer. You got to have an individual set up for everyone who wants to play. And, like, one thing people bash Nintendo for, but they have always supported local multiplayer. I think – their games primarily just have that. It's hard. You're hard pressed to find out anything now. Nah, see, and that's the thing, man. The entertainment value was there, man. Especially like in the arcade. I mean, the one of the things I saw when um when I was in there that still surprised me. The games that people were playing the most, even the young kids, uh, uh, the basketball shooting game, ski ball. Uh, table hockey, you know, those are the games that were that have been around longer than the arcade games, and those are the games that people are still like flocking to. And I mean, none of this stuff that that you can get on your phone, nobody's playing. Like you didn't see any type of fighting game. I didn't see any type. I mean, I think there was like Deer Hunter because this is Texas. You know what I'm saying? And then, <laughs> um, you know, some other stuff that nobody really cared about. And I was just like, I, I know that arcades as as themselves are, are gone, but even these type of games, man, nobody wants to play them. Like, you can still put games in there that people will play while they're in that scenario, you know? Yep. You know, I'm just, you know, I'm just going to say this, man. If they start putting Street Fighter back into arcades, my old ass might be back in the games, you know. <laughs> I might be back up in there, you know, elbowing somebody's little nephew, you know what I'm saying? Like, get out of here, you know, why you cheesing? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're going to do this, man. I'm going to let you get up out of here. I know you got to get back to your scenario in a bit. Real quick, man, should All I right. get a switch or should I not? Let me Let me know, man. I think you should. <laughs> I think – Okay, because keep this in mind, Steel yeah. wasn't sold on it. You're right. All. You're right. And he's hooked. And he's like, you, he's more of a PC gamer than anything else. And he's hooked on it. So, just saying, I think you would like it, especially Shout when out. Mario Kart come out. Shout out to the homie Steel. He's the host of Tense. I mentioned it at the beginning of this video, man. He came up with the, the concept. You know, we're going to put them later on. I'll put all the links and stuff down here, man. But he's right, man. He, I, he was kind of like me. He had, he was hesitant. He had to switch. He didn't even open it for like the first like week or so. I know it was a while that he right, didn't. Yep. Yeah, he didn't even open it. He wasn't excited to open it. He finally breaks it out, and he's been on Zelda nonstop. You know? <laughs> I'm just like, I was like, come on, man. He was on my side. You know, but um, <laughs> I got plans. To get a Switch, I don't know when it's going to happen because we're waiting on Nintendo to drop some more. But I got plans to get a Switch, and I'm going to see, man. I'm going to give it an open mind. That's what I'm going to do, you know? All right, all right. That's what's up. All right, man. Before you go, man, uh, what you got next? And tell the folks about your channel, man. Uh, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mikhail Casanova. Um, this week, I'm mainly going to be dropping – reviews on like switch games i think i put up blaster master yesterday about to drop one for a game called snipper clips uh probably later on tonight or tomorrow to the uh pro controller this unfiltered because a lot of people have been asking the question like what do you give when you get the pro controller why is it so expensive i'm like you know what you got usb type c you got an 80 hour battery life off a single charge you got NFC built into it, accelerometer and gyrometer with firmware updates and Bluetooth 4.1. So it's future proof, you know. So oh man, so <laughs> that's gonna be dope, man. I'm ready for it. Now, you've been going kind of raw some of your videos too, man. If y'all like that raw, <laughs> unfiltered, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like straight to the point perspective, you wanna check out the homies' videos, all right? <laughs> all right all right man i'm gonna let you get up out of here thank you for jumping on real quick man this is this is what like my second stream ever so we're gonna do some more of these man i got 
one with my homie G Christ the Crew 54. We're gonna be doing this weekend. We're gonna talk hip hop. We're gonna be talking about our new projects. We're gonna be talking about uh uh we might get into Remy Ma versus uh Nikki if Ooh. anybody still cares about that. We're gonna be talking about these new Rick Ross. The new Drake albums, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we're going to get into it, man. Make sure y'all come back. We got still, uh, we got uh, tens this weekend. So, man, make sure y'all y'all come check that out. Like I said, I'm going to leave all the links. Follow me over at um, DVZN Media on Twitter and Instagram. How can they get at you, Miguel? Uh, they can follow me on Instagram at Mikel James, M-E-K-E-L-J-A-M-E-S. Um, I'm on, uh, yeah, that's my Twitter. On my Instagram, it's Mikael Casanova, K-A-S-A-N-O-V-A. Uh, if you want to check me out, go ahead and do so. But Dookie, hey, man, we the two champs of teams. We got to go at it one day. Oh, snap, I forgot you was the last winner. Yeah, <laughs> we got to go head to head and see what it is. Yo, shout out to the homie Alpha. Um, he's in there. Shout out to the homie Easy. Uh, he's in the chat. Like I said, I ain't have my setup right to be seeing everything, and this is mad rookie-ish. So I appreciate y'all for even coming in here and rocking with me. We're going to do another one, man. It's your boy, Duke. I'm going to get up out of here. Mikel, thank you for, for, for rocking with your boy. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get up out of here. Y'all see my dog, Miss Lena. She in here about to destroy some shit. I got to get up out of here, all right? All right, see you.